Hello and welcome to this introduction video on Mortar Math. My name is Sophie Mann and I'm a LEGO Education Master Trainer. I have a background in teaching math, art and IT and I'm a big fan of learning through hands-on experiences. Mortal Math 1 and 2 from LEGO Education is a hands-on educational solution for teaching mathematical problem solving while bridging to math facts. It's built upon the math curriculum for first and second grade. Making sense of problems and perseverance in solving them, precision, reasoning and modeling mathematically and representation can be very difficult subject matters to convey to young students in elementary school. When students work with mathematical problem solving, it can be a challenge for them to hold on to an abstract thought long enough in their mind to both understand the question, see the math in it, solve it, and finally transfer it back to what the solution means. In Mortal Math, the Lego bricks are used as a tool for students during the problem solving process. They help them to understand, represent, and solve the mathematical problems presented in the lessons. The familiar Lego brick helps students to transfer abstract information into tangible problems. It makes it easier for them to understand and remember what they did and why when they built the solutions as a brick model and have the model to look at. Lego bricks invite playful learning that can activate children to engage and enjoy math lessons much more. This helps lower any potential barriers to doing math. For personalization and to allow the students to connect even more with math, they meet the two minifigure problem solvers, Max and Mia. Like an imaginary friend, the two minifigures follow the students throughout the set. They are the ones experiencing all the mathematical problems and the students help them find the solutions. When students get Lego bricks in their hands, we give them a tool to bridge the gap between the physical world and the symbolic representations of it. They can explore, experience and communicate in relation to their own active construction of a meaningful object representing the solution of a mathematical problem. They can share and explain their solution to the other students in the class. This helps them remember the process and often gives a deeper understanding of the solution as they have to explain it to each other. How do we actually teach mathematical problem solving using Lego bricks? The curriculum pack is broken down into an introduction, a thorough explanation of how the concept and each lesson covers the national standards for mathematics, guidance on how to assess the learning outcomes using the different assessment tools integrated in the activities, classroom management tips and warm-up activities that we have experienced works well for the classroom. The Math Builder software is also explained with guidance for preparation and usage in the classroom. The curriculum pack also covers all the 48 lessons. Each activity set comes with three students worksheets, one sheet per lesson and a teacher's guide. Let's have a look at the teacher's guides. I find these really useful in my preparation. You'll find a specific link to the curriculum and learning goals, key vocabulary, a description of each task, suggestions for assessing students' work and what to look for in their behavior, and ideas for extension and differentiation. There's a natural progression from task to task, from lesson to lesson, and from one activity set to the next. However, the lessons and the activity sets are not interdependent. You can use each of the 48 lessons as they are, or as an inspiration for your own teaching. You do not have to start with a certain lesson or follow a certain order. It's entirely up to you to choose, based on what suits best the needs of your students. The competencies in mathematical problem solving in the Mortal Math material are taught through activities within math facts, such as Numbers and Operations Base 10, Operations and Algebraic Thinking, Measurement and Data, and Geometry and Spatial Skills. It might be most logical to choose a task that relates to the areas of math facts you're teaching at a given time, 
also consider what basic math fact skills the students have prior to each problem-solving lesson. In math, students need to be able to work both individually and in pairs. So half of the lessons are for individual use and half are for working collaboratively. I like to start the lesson with an introduction to the mathematical topic by getting the whole class to discuss a connect image, like this one, to relate the task to real life. Next, I get the class to read the task out loud, pointing out the important words. After this, the students work by themselves or in pairs to solve the problem using the box and a student's worksheet. When the time is up, we discuss how they solve the math problem and why they chose a certain strategy. If an interactive whiteboard is available, I like to use the Math Builder software with the board. It can bring the math lessons to life for the entire class. I ask a student to come to the board and rebuild their solution model and explain what they've done. This encourages students to share and discuss their solutions and I can follow their thoughts. It promotes their communication and collaboration skills and the students enjoy building on the board. For many, using Lego bricks in the classroom can seem like quite a challenge, at least until they try. Math supports your classroom management by using a uniform structure for each lesson and by providing a practical teacher's guide and one intuitive student worksheet for each lesson. This is what the students have on the table for the first lesson. You'll find some simple ideas for inspiration in the tips and tricks for classroom management section of the teacher's guide. In the curriculum pack, you'll find nine warm-up activities that introduce the students to the bricks. For instance, name the brick to get them acquainted with the bricks and vocabulary like bricks and starts or sort and count, where they sort all the bricks into the right compartments in the tray. After you've started the lesson by connecting the problem through the connect image, let the students look at what bricks to use from the element overview at the top of the student's worksheet. Next, they take the lid off the box, they find the bricks they need, and they put the lid back on again. Students will stay more focused on learning by only having the needed breaks in front of them. At the end of the lesson, they return the breaks to the relevant compartments in the tray. Coming up in the next video, how to address each of the different mathematical practices through the use of Mortal Math.